Roger Webb and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different I suppose uh, as I'm not going to turn the machine on. I'm going to answer some of the questions that uh, many of you have written in about CNC routers and purchasing one. So I'm going to tell you today what I would be looking for and what has happened to me in the past and I've made videos on it as well that you can see. Now I am an engineer so I had some idea of what to look for. Rigidity. That means how, you know, the machine I knew had to be really stiff. So I bought a 1690 with a solid cast aluminium base. And, you know, it's not a cheap item to, to buy, even back then. That was ten years ago I bought my first machine. And it cost me then $5,000 US. Because I had uh, lots of upgrades, uh, as in 4th axes and 2.2 uh, kilowatt head. Uh, because there were certain things about that that I, that I knew. You know, that you could get a larger size tool, you know, you had more torque uh, in the, the actual road head itself. So I got the machine home here and uh, quickly discovered that uh, there was certain harmonics and vibrations being transferred into the material that I was 3D carving and cutting. Sure, it would do 2.5D cuts absolutely fine but when it came down to 3d carbon at any great speed the the x-axis ran on two round rails and uh, i quickly discovered even though they were you know sort of uh, over an inch thick of uh, something similar to hydraulic uh, ram steel they flexed <laughs> When the, the you know certainly when the uh, x-axis carrying the 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 right ahead was in the middle of the the, the gantry, um, there's vibration max. It's transmitting vibration max. Uh, so you had to cut the feed right the way down. And you know I, I, it's documented on on very early videos seven eight years ago that. I replaced all the, the bearings right throughout it. I replaced the, the uh, stepper motors for, for larger ones and uh, <laughs> much more expensive ones too. So a machine that initially cost me $5,000 ended up costing me about $7,500 to get it up to scratch. And to, to you know, so <laughs> what I found out to my cost is that when you you know you sort of buy a machine off you know Alibaba or wherever the internet you don't know until you get it home what you've let yourself in for uh, and another thing too the you, you'll see over my back shoulder here um, that's Mac 3 now I know Recently, Windows has um, stopped supporting Windows 7. Now, that's what Mac 3 was designed for, or that and XP, actually. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Mac 3 works on Windows 7, and there are millions of Windows 7 computers around. So, don't panic there, you know. You just buy it, you know. A Windows 7 uh, computer off someone for 150 bucks and uh, off you go. It's not a problem. Uh, you don't need it connected to the internet anyway. Uh, you don't need to have uh, Mac 3 updated for any reason whatsoever. Because it's Mac 3 is 15 years old and it's well sorted. You don't need another program. Uh, I've used it for more than 10 years and it is absolutely perfect and it will do everything that uh, you want to CNC router whether it be a, a hobby 
uh, for, for a hobby or for a business. So Mark III will work on Windows 7 computers, whether it be a laptop or a, uh, you know, a mainframe. Uh, Windows 8 and early Windows 10. When I say early Windows 10, 32-bit. Because when Windows 10 came out, uh, it came out with, you know, a lot of... 50% of the, the computers that you, you, you know, you had were operating on a 32-bit system. Uh, it's only recently that, uh, you know, everything is uh, now 64-bit. So, you know, when using um, Mac 3 is absolutely not a problem at all. I would advise, if you was buying a CNC router, that you would want it to work with Mac 3 with the USB conductivity. None of this 25 pin port business, because that's an old XP. And another thing too, I would advise against, and that is any uh, program that, you know, sort of they try and push on you. So Mac 3, well sorted, no need for updates, no need to be connected to the internet. And that's another thing too, I, I, you know, if you've got if you're operating a, a CNC router, use a dedicated computer. Use it for nothing else. You know, if you're, if you're spending upwards of five thousand dollars, or you know, sort of sixty, forty, you know, between three and four thousand dollars. I mean, that's that's what I paid uh, for my, and it really was the the Rolls Royce. <laughs> I can't stress that even more. You, in actual fact. If you go to this is my um, this is my homepage uh, on YouTube. So if you scroll down, I've actually put uh, some fit videos together uh, about my 6040. I, I love that thing. It was it was a very very good machine for, for you know for a 6040, and I dubbed it the Rolls Royce, and I, I believe it really was. It was really well made. It was so well made that I went back to the same company and I I purchased a 6012 from them. And that, that's a big step up. That's a big industrial machine. So now I've gone to, I've switched now to the video listing on my channel. I put a video together uh, telling you exactly what to look for. And of course, everything that I found out about um, CNC routers and exactly what to look for, and, and all the pitfalls. Now that machine is just behind me, and that's hooked up to that computer. Um, that's USB conductivity, Mac 3, and that's running on a, a, a laptop. Um, it does absolutely beautiful work, and quickly because it's an industrial machine. So that's a good motto. If you find something that's good, stick with it. Same as Mark III. There's no need to have any other program, any of these newfangled uh, programs that I, I see coming on the market now, new, that uh, you, know, you buy their module, which is gonna cost you Eight hundred dollars, and uh, you you know you plug your monitor into it and your your keyboard into it, and uh, you know it'll it'll run your whole machine. But you've got to use their software. You know you can't use anybody else's software with it, which is crazy. Um, so it you know you're limiting your machine, and I really I don't know. You know an awful lot about them, but uh, by what I can see, they're not doing very well. So I would leave probably well alone, unless someone can, uh, you know, sort of tell me different. I do notice that uh, some of the other people that make videos on YouTube have been offered um, certain products, and they they've. <laughs> they've promoted them on their channels and uh, subsequently dropped them like a, you know, sort of a hot brick, <laughs> as it were. So, uh, yeah, they probably found out to their cost that uh, it really isn't what, you know, that uh, people say it is. 
So um, stick with what you know and don't replace or, you know, don't fix it if it isn't broken. Mac 3, no need to go any further. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy, you know, my videos. Uh, I'm just going to start, actually, uh, and that's what prompted this video, me explaining to you. Um, watch my videos to get some, you know, you, you will learn through my mistakes that I've made, and I'm an engineer. You know, I've made some real humdingers and I videoed it and I published it to try and show you guys, hey, you know, things aren't what they seem out there. So, uh, I suppose I'll draw this one to a, a bit of a close now. Uh, and I, I sort of tried to explain to you that, um, you know, You've got to be very careful what you're, you're purchasing out there because you're not going to be very happy with, uh, you know, when the package arrives uh, on your doorstep, it's uh, not going to be uh, what you uh, thought you was purchasing. So, uh, you know, watch my videos, please take my advice um, because, you know, I've made mistakes even. And, uh, over the next couple of weeks now, I'm going to start off right at the very beginning. Um, I know I use a selection of, uh, of programs. I use, um, I use, I started off with ArtCam. I still use ArtCam. I still do tutorial videos of ArtCam. I also do tutorials of CAVCOL. Um, if you're starting out, the, you know, there's no better program. Um, you, you know, I, know, I see a lot of people writing on my comment section and sending me emails saying, oh, we haven't got $8,000 to buy CAVCO. That's the professional version that companies buy. You don't have to go buying that. You know, you can if you want to. Uh, you know, but there's three programs in CAVCO. There's CAVCO, which is the big industrial program that companies buy uh, and you know people like uh, you know the Royal Mint because they use <laughs> governments use CAVCO to, to you know in their mints to make the the coins and the dice for the coins and uh, uh, you know to make the um, to print the pay for all plastic money now that's the program they use. They used to use ArtCam, but now they use Kafka. Uh, so Kafka, knowing uh, uh, you know sort of this, uh, you know they have to uh, promote, uh, they have to cater for all, all markets. So they've brought out Maker, which is equivalent to the old uh, Express, which is the, hob the real hobby start off version. You know, you get 600 reliefs with that, and you can you can actually put multiple reliefs together. I mean, that's how I started. Uh, although it was called Outcam Express at that time, it's now Cavco Maker. Um, and then the next one up is uh, Cavco Maker Plus. Um, you know, I've got that as well. Um, and you can actually you have 3D manipulating tools in that where you can manipulate um, you know, 3D reliefs. But on the other side of the coin I also have well, it's not up there now, but uh, I also have um, Vetrix Aspire which is, uh, I suppose, a little bit down from Cavco but, um, you know, it's still a good program, and uh, I use it as well. <laughs> and I do video tutorials on um, this and, and my second channel. second channel, by the way, is uh, up there on the... where is it? My second channel, if you go to my home page... 
is here it's listed there and you can also get to it if you go to the about and scroll down and it's also here that's how to get to my second channel and there's over a hundred videos on there now uh, that's where I normally put my um, videos for Aspire so the coming weeks now I'm going to start you right off at the very beginning with um, a CNC router um, you know how to do the simple stuff and how to start using the, the you know these programs like Mac 3 and uh, Kafco and Atcam and uh, you know how to sort of get started with it and um, don't you know don't go sort of jumping straight in and uh, sort of trying to do uh, you know beautiful three-dimensional carving and think it's going to come out you know right the first time because it's, it's probably not uh, you you got to build yourself up to it over you know a, a period of time everybody's learning process is different um, so you know I hope uh, you enjoy this short little journey over the next few weeks of starting off with a CNC router and um, look I'll, I'll stress again just you know you've got to be really careful of what you purchase out there it took me years so I hope I can give you the tools to um, you know find the right machine that's right for you uh, because you know this <laughs> there are thousands of different machines out there and 95% uh, of them I'm afraid are not worth half the money that they are asking for um, and certainly these kit ones that you can buy you know that uh, are constructed with uh, with MDF and you know sort of by what I can see you know <laughs> you know fitted with stepper motors that probably would uh, are made to run a 3d printer not a CNC router is an old saying and that saying is you get what you pay for and it's absolutely true if you think that you're going to buy a Rolls-Royce machine for two thousand dollars well I can tell you now it's not going to happen <laughs> so if you're thinking of buying a CNC router you know and you you know you, your budget is two thousand dollars don't waste your money wait a little longer save a little bit more and uh, get a machine that you're going to be happy with and uh, you know and one that you can really use so on that note uh, I'll draw this video to a close and I hope you come and visit my channel uh, see uh, where I went wrong and uh, what I did about it and certainly the upcoming videos that I'm going to be making of uh, how to start off with a CNC router and what you can do with one so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now <laughs>